Hey everyone, it's Dave with Bad Elf. Today we're doing an overview of the Bad Elf Flex Mini app. Let's get right into it. The Bad Elf Flex app is free on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. No need for a login or subscription, it's hassle free. To get started, just connect your Bad Elf Flex Mini through Bluetooth. If nothing's connected, the home screen of the app will only show the app settings on the top left corner. Once you've established a connection, you'll spot the device settings represented by the gear icon situated to the right of the blue row that features the receiver's name and serial number. These settings are used when configuring your device and determining how it records and displays data. Obtaining a GNSS lock is simple. Start by turning on the unit and placing it in an open sky area for about 5 minutes. This allows the device to download satellite information and calculate corrections. Once you have a GNSS fix, you'll notice the Mini's LED light transition from red to green. When operating the receiver, you'll encounter four types of fixes. Initially, when you secure your lock, you'll be in 3D mode, not relying on external correction sources. As the Mini connects to more satellites, you'll notice the appearance of SPAS, indicating the use of satellite corrections for enhanced accuracy. If you're using the Mini standard, this is what you should observe before collecting point data. However, if you are using the Battle Flex Mini Extreme with an internet connection, connecting to an RTK network will yield the best results. There are two types of RTK solutions, float and fixed. Optimal accuracy is achieved with an RTK fix. Under a GNSS fix, you'll find essential metadata about your current location status, including accuracy, correction source, datum, elevation model, tilt sensor data, and battery life. In the Battle Flex app, you have the handy feature of recording points directly within the application. When you go to this specific tab, you can pick from various options like collecting name points, initiating a track log, or capturing timed or average points. The great part is that you can export all of these points wirelessly on your mobile device by navigating to the Logs tab of the home screen. Using the Deviation Plot feature in the Flex app, you can visually assess the differences between your present location, your average position, or a specific point of interest. This tool gives you control over viewing options, providing a detailed understanding of the differences among your current position versus known positions. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with us all the way through. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and stay mapping, my friends.